Fusion on the Shield is a uh, field training exercise that the NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, does every year. And it's, a, it's an exercise to bring all the forces together to have a chance to, to practice our, our plans and procedures. It's a homeland defense exercise, and so the scenario is based on defending uh, the homeland. So in, in this case, it's conducting FTXs, or fly-fly missions, out of Alaska, Canada, and as well in uh, Greenland. And so the exercise is set up uh, to fly our aircraft against the threat and address the threat as it's presented to us. So the scenario will start off and, and it will evolve over the course of a week based on the objectives we've set. And, uh, and basically what we try to do is uh, look at what we did in the last year, we'll mix it up, we'll change the scenario. Scenarios are typically developed a few years out. And, and then from there on we'll see the challenges we face, the successes we have, uh, and then we'll, we'll build on that and we'll create the scenario so that we can, so that all the air crews and all the personnel involved, be it in flight, those on the ground, uh, those on, on the radar sites and whatnot, supporting exercise, have a chance to go through the whole gamut of uh, training opportunities. This year, the biggest difference is the scale. And so much more units and people participating. Uh, the FTX is uh, being conducted in five different places uh, around the world, um, and about 700 total people, so um, it's, it's quite large. Well, in Canada, we have uh, CF-18s, uh, as well as tankers. And on the US side, we've got 22s, F-15, F-16s, tankers, AWACS. Uh, these are all the assets that we'll bring together uh, for the sake of exercise. As well, because we are flying over the Arctic and it is austere terrain, we do bring search and, uh, search and rescue uh, assets as well. We definitely find ourselves working with the United States quite a fair bit. I'd say from the tactical fighter perspective, three to four times a year, we're working with our U.S. partners, uh, either in the States or they come up to Canada and work with us. And that's a combination of uh, Air Force assets, or air assets, if you will, and then folks on the ground as well. Something like this is important because if we don't practice coming up north to uh, Thule or areas like it, uh, it's easy for both of our militaries to kind of lose a little bit of experience. And uh, there are always lessons learned, and uh, there's minor hiccups here and there, but uh, everything ended up working out in the uh, long run. The, the basics of um, practicing and being proficient at um, the execution of your business is why we do this. And uh, this is a, a huge team. And so that team effort and being able to have the team working together as one unit uh, to accomplish our goals and objectives is exactly why we need to practice this. I think we have world-class uh, personnel both of our nations that, that do this. Uh, their heart is in it, they have the good equipment to get the job done, and I think that really that's the, that's the gem in it. I feel very confident that our personnel are ready to meet the, the mission and meet those challenges uh, with, uh, you know, with confidence and ability. <laughs>